The latest Caden Live 19.04 has been released. I ran some tests and the results were, well, rather disappointing. Stick around, I'll tell you what I mean. All right, welcome back. This is Total OS today. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I am a Windows user that has been promoting Linux for the last nine years, at least as a possible alternative to your Windows machine. So welcome aboard. All right, Caden Live to me remains probably the premier video editor uh, for Linux. Now the latest version 19.04 is not what I had in mind. I ran three tests and the results were rather disappointing. Now there are different ways to download Caden Live. You can uh, use a PPA, flat pack or an app image. I chose to go with the app image because the previous version of Caden Live as an app image runs pretty good. So these are my test results. First of all was a rendering test or rendering time test. I inserted a 3 minute and 28 second video or so to render and it took over 13 minutes. Uh, it has never taken that long in the previous version of Kanan Live. Now I know I don't have the fastest machine in the world granted but that seems a bit long especially when the rendering was done at the lower setting of 720p at 24 frames. So this one rather surprised me. The second thing I noticed when I insert a file in, in a file into the timeline, I can no longer right click to add effects as in fade in, fade out. I have to go back back and forth up and down uh, to the timeline uh, function on top of the Caden Live uh, options to do all my edits. That's not very at least to me that's not very intuitive or convenient so yeah I really didn't like that. The third thing I noticed I was unable to do uh, multiple cuts in the timeline. I could cut a section of the video in the timeline but if, if I wanted to cut some more and do all my edits I was unable to do that. It was at that point that I stopped using this. It's just too many things that, that, that I felt were going in the wrong direction uh, for the current version of Caden Live, at least in my test. Now, I did not test the PPA. I did not test the uh, Flatpak version, but I'm assuming that the features uh, built into Caden Live wouldn't make an, any difference. Now, the rendering times might be different uh, running installing it uh, from a PPA or from a flat pack, I don't know. I just tested what worked for me in the past and for me Caden Live, the latest version is three steps backwards. All right, well that's all I have for this one. If your tests are different than mine, please let me know. For now I'll stick with the previous version of Caden Live because it seems to work very well. Just to let you know, I use Shotcut uh, in Linux and in Windows as my backup video editor. That's it for this one. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.